There's another big election uh, that uh, the U.S. is keeping an eye on, and it doesn't involve either uh, Barack Obama or Mitt Romney. It's taking place in Venezuela. It's the first election in a long time, uh, and uh, there is a chance that uh, Hugo Chavez, El Comandante, as they call him, uh, could be unseated for the first time since 1998 by a skinny marathon runner uh, called El Flaco, the skinny one, uh, who uh, is, uh, uh, as according to some polls, uh, in, uh, uh, in challenging, challenging Chavez. Uh, to discuss this with us uh, is our uh, correspondent uh, in Caracas, uh, Kajal Vias. Kajal, good morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's a pleasure. Uh, the real question <laughs> there is uh, whether uh, uh, um, Cavrilis, uh, the contender to Chavez reign, can actually do this. I mean, what is the, the sense on the ground? Well, uh, right now, the one thing that uh, most Venezuelans can agree on is that there's really nothing to agree on. Um, <laughs> there's uh, both, you have both camps, both Chavez and Capriles, very confident that they can win. Uh, and we're only four days away now. Uh, Capriles has been the one with the momentum. Uh, he's been running a nationwide campaign. He's young. He's energetic. He's visited around 300 uh, towns and villages all around the country over the last three months. Chavez, on the other hand, really hasn't been able to campaign like his former self. Yeah, his for, for, for charismatic the folksy yeah. charm hasn't really been able to help him as much this time because um, he's been slowed down quite a bit over the last year, year and a half, uh, as he's been battling cancer. So I guess the question internationally, and especially for the U.S., is uh, what's going to happen to uh, Venezuela's vast oil reserves and vast oil production if one of the two wins. Now, what, what would happen if Cavrilis wins? Uh, is that good news for uh, um, people who want to uh, buy the Venezuelan oil? It is a, um, it's being seen by a lot of analysts as a long-term positive. The thing is, in the short term, there's probably very little that Cavrilis will be able to change in the oil industry. The one thing he will be able to, uh, if he wants to, uh, guarantee is some kind of uh, ju uh, judicial security. Um, security among for the transnationals who have been uh, expropriated and yes. Chavez has nationalized many projects over the last several years. Uh, Gabriles has said he doesn't want to do that and he wants to increase <laughs> oil production over the, the upcoming years and he sees a pretty big role for the private right. sector right. in doing that. And just a very uh, quick question yeah, sorry, because we ahead. don't have that much time left but uh, um, how clean will these elections be? It's a legitimate question I think. Sure. Uh, well, the opposition has filed some 98 complaints <laughs> against the uh, Electoral Commission here, which they claim that they haven't gotten many responses on. Um, there's a lot of allegations of, of dirty tricks here right. and there. Uh, for example, there's one, uh, it's an electronic ballot, and one of the uh, places to vote actually has Capriles' picture on it, but the votes actually don't go to him. They go to a third party. I see. So there are a lot of... Uh, there are reasons to be very, uh, um, I guess, there's reasons to question the validity of the elections, but um, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, We're well, only four I mean, days away. That's the question. Of, well, let's hope that the elections are clean and fair in four days' time. Thank you, Kajal. Thank you for joining us.